everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm making the Mad Hatter's Tea Party sort of area, cafe. Um, I was originally going to make it into a bar actually, but then I was thinking, hang on a second, it's a tea party. Why do I make it into a cafe so that they can drink tea? Um, but yeah, so that's what I made and this is actually mostly being made out of the new stuff pack that we've got uh, is it movie hangout is that what it's called hangout stuff but it's been made using that and uh, I was actually I I wasn't gonna buy this I was gonna buy it eventually but like not now uh, because I was short on money and um, then I was watching uh, Rory play The Sims. She was doing a stream, and there was a few of us YouTubers and some other people watching. And um, it was it was a really good stream, and I had loads and loads of fun. So definitely check out her channel if you want to see more of her things. Um, but she showcased the new pack, and um, I was looking at like the different furniture and stuff like that. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if you could mismatch all of these? chairs and tables and that kind of thing and mix them with sort of the mad crazy stuff that we've already got in the game and make things a little bit wacky and then I thought hang on a second that sounds very familiar to me and um, that's when I came up with the idea of making a area which is like a little tea party um, from Alice in Wonderland so I hope I do it justice uh, I really like this lot um, it's very much inspired by Alice in Wonderland rather than you know exact um, I don't have the film so I wasn't able to watch it all I was able to do was watch little clips on YouTube and also um, stuff from memory I've watched the both the older version and the newer version um, several times my sister is actually called Alice so she really really loved the films um, so we we watched it sort of several times as a family because of that and uh so yeah i'm quite familiar with it and so maybe that was why it was in the forefront of my mind when i saw all this uh pack and all this stuff that comes with it um but yeah i was lucky enough that uh my grandparents sent me a surprise little gift of a small amount of money so that was able to go onto this um, packs so that I could make this video for you guys. But the table itself is sort of overflowing with all these cakes and ornaments and fruit and teapots and it's just a crazy mess and there's also books scattered around like they've been reading and just threw them everywhere and there's piles of stuff just everywhere. So much clutter so it was really fun to make um, some of it I had to be careful and sort of switch in and out of um, move objects uh, on and off uh, because if I was trying to sort of edit some things, they would some of the things would delete. So this is definitely a, a lot that you need uh, moved objects on if you want to put it down. If you want to change something like the um, the fence or the wallpapers or something like that, what you need to do is you need to turn um, move objects off before you change them then turn it back on again but this the sims 3 control where you can turn things like as much as you want i'd never got it to work before today i then tried again with this rug and it just wasn't working i was like okay but i, d I think it's something to do with the trackpad on a mac um i can't i can't get it to work i should probably maybe if I'm planning to use that um have a mouse plugged in so I can quickly do it but um yeah I don't know why it doesn't work on a trackpad and it's like no matter how much you move it it's like it's it is complete and utter luck if it's gonna ha like work at all so um I was quite lucky I think I didn't really necessarily need to have it rotated but I wanted to try um it's a shame that it works there when I didn't need it and not on other times when I'd been practicing and really hoped it would work and it didn't but uh, anyway I think it's more touch and go but um, 
I'll make sure to remember to have my mouse plugged in next time. But yeah, like I said, all the images that I saw of the actual table and the characters sitting around it and that kind of thing, there was piles and piles and piles of books all around them and just scattered everywhere. So I thought um, that I would do that. Also, because this is a little bit repetitive, uh, I do put down quite a lot of books and I thought when I was making it, it was taking up quite a bit of time. So what I did... Is I cut out, sorry, I cut out some of the um, footage of me doing that. I also put up all the flags like I've done here. Um, I was actually experimenting with a few different things um, that took me a while. So once I had something down which I was 100% happy with, that's when I then cut to um, playing again on camera so that you could see. But we've got some books on um three of the corners and then the flags all the way around and i think that's pretty much all i changed but we're going on to sort of landscaping here and this is used i used a lot of the uh items from get to work from the uh alien stuff i also really really looked at the both um the objects or you know uh plant life and things like that from the old film and also the new film um, to try and get the sort of closest I could get to uh, what it would be like. Um, to start with, I made everything kind of blue, and I can't remember. Like it wasn't, it wasn't blue. I don't know why I did that. I think it's because the toasters were all different colours. But obviously, we've only got blue toasters. So what I decided to do later on, don't know whether I got it on camera, was to go around and change some of the flowers so that they were they weren't all blue. Yeah, and also we've got up some, um, uh, I've forgotten the proper name for them, but, you know, the um, the, the hedge sculptures. I've got a few of those because they were from the Queen of Hearts garden. I also thought about putting in, I've, I think I put in some sort of chest stuff, but I also um, wanted to get some black and white sort of tiling down, and you'll see me experiment with that later, but it didn't really work. Um, I put some roses in as well. Uh, I don't know whether I got that on camera either, but um, just know that they're there. You'll see them on the screenshots anyway. But here we go um, with the bathroom. I just put this in there obviously because your um, sims need to go to the toilet, but uh, they need a sink and that kind of thing. Um, did you see just then I turned move objects off and then I'll turn it back on in a second um, so that... Um, the things will then work again because I put up the wallpaper. Uh, what was I talking about? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. Um, I'm sure it wasn't that important. But yeah, we're going around and putting in some more flowers and some more sort of weird looking things. And also I noticed that quite a lot of the plants were larger than life. They were huge and... Um, they were bigger than the characters themselves so this wasn't a massive lot so I didn't I couldn't make them too big and obviously we've got the trees and stuff they I still wanted the trees to be in proportion with all the plants so um, they're not huge but you know they are much bigger than they should be I also thought this was quite cool and um, with the plants down the side um, with the little are they are they supposed to be tulips I thought that they added a level of craziness and colour that I thought would go really well. I also tried sizing this up. I think I'll use that in another build. Um, but it could be quite a cool wall decoration sized up if you wanted it to be, instead of it being a mirror. Um, and then you could hide the little glass bit with maybe um, like a bed or a sofa or something like that. Uh, I thought that would be quite a cool thing to add. Um, I also put these lights around here because I wanted to make sure that the, they're pretty obviously as well but I wanted to make sure that this central area was lit up so that when you were playing the game um, it would be fine but uh, the mushrooms or toasters they um, they glow up I also put in some little chess pieces and they glow up the trees glow up too so uh, there was no need to put lights in any other area. I'm also experimenting with the sort of floor because I didn't know what I was doing with this sort of area. I've realised that it's really obvious when I don't know what I'm doing and I'm experimenting in comparison to when I do know what I'm doing. There's a, there's a really big difference between um, the way that I, 
I build. But anyway, um, you'll see me. I decided to leave it in this time. I just decided to wing it and uh, experiment. Maybe I've, I thought that maybe because this is sort of a weird build and they were weird ideas that they might give you some sort of inspiration. But yeah, I then put, like in a second, I put the big ones of these down in a line, I think. Do I? Yeah, I put in these first, but then I do it afterwards. And um, I thought it looked like a starting line. And I thought, well, that looks really stupid. Um, maybe you guys could uh, build a racetrack. That would be quite a cool thing. You could use a dance force. But, um, yeah, I didn't think it looked right. So I just t decided to scrap the entire idea. Uh, and I went for something else in the end. And I think it turned out pretty well. So And we had lots of seating area. That was the bit that I was talking about, by the way. We also put a piano in, um, so that you can get some music playing in here. I thought that would be quite a sort of magical, mystical thing. I love these little puff cushions. I'm, I'm half to, my mum has a whole load of sort of um, scrap fabrics that are bright colours, that, you know, are off cuts from things that she's made herself, and things like that, and I'm, you know, I'm half tempted to ask her if she can make me one, because they're so pretty. Uh, I love the fabrics that they've they've put on these new um, things. I want, I just want them in my everyday life. I want, you know, all these really bright coloured um, cushions and you know, fabrics and things like that, I think it would be so awesome. I've got quite a brightly coloured room with sort of fairy lights and um, little lanterns and things like that all over it. And we've got like colourful posters and things, so um, it would fit perfectly with the mass of colour that's already in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be really cool if I could get my hands on these. Also for cheap, because <laughs> I'm broke, as I've already said. But yeah, so we're putting in some more of the landscaping around uh, the piano here. And yeah, I'm not sure how much is left of this build now. But um, I think we've still got a little way to go. But yeah, I think all that I really do for the rest of this is I put in some more of this landscaping. I then, I do the track. And what I wanted to do was the little paved stones that we got um, with uh get together um i thought that they were much smaller so what i wanted to do is have small ones and then size some of them up so that they were bigger but then i realized that they were huge to begin with so i couldn't sort of change the size and make a really cool path so um we go in with the terrain paint and do that anyway i then add some sort of finishing touches but i think that's it for the rest of the build but i hope you enjoy the screenshots and everything else thank you very very much for watching and hopefully see you again soon